Hello, welcome to Code Kiran. My name is Sai. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use make files, how to compile large set of programs using make utility. First, we will write a main.c. You can use any editor in your Linux distribution. I'm using VI editor. I'm going to create a header file later after this program edited. Just a printf file. It is just another function. This another function is defined in another dot c and declared in another dot h. So let's write another dot h file. Here we will include another dot h and we'll define another function which we have used in main. So that's it. We have another dot c, another dot h, main dot c. This is very simple example. Main dot c contains another function uh, calling convention. Here, this function is defined in another dot c and declared in another dot h. So, to compile this, we are going to write one make file make is a utility uh, gnu make utility this will be used to compile the structured programs which are defined in a different different uh, files we can create a make file to compile a large set of program to create a software this make command will start searching for a make file in your present working directory this is the present working directory here we didn't created any make file so let's go ahead and create make file the file name should be same it should start with capital M and small ake file -E. make file contains some major elements which are called target prerequisites and recipes target is the name of file which the executable file is generated and prerequisites are the dependencies which are needed to generate a target file and recipe is the procedure we are telling to make file that how to create this target so the target you can give any name for this program i'm going to give a name called app should give colon and dependencies or prerequisites or main.o and another dot o enter now in order to write recipe you need to press tab once this is very important to use tab when you are writing recipes cc hyphen o app main dot o another dot o if you are familiar with gcc how to compile programs and all then it is very easy and you can understand why i wrote cc hyphen o app main dot o and another dot o this cc is a gcc compiler and hyphen dot o is a flag which you are mentioning the specific name which is a target output name and the dependencies which we needed this is a simple make file here we didn't mention main.o and .o recipes which means how to generate main.o and another.o make tool doesn't know how, how to get this main.o and another.o to do this we need to write sub targets for this main.c another.h so to generate main.o we need to have a prerequisites which are dependencies main.c and another.h and the recipe tab we need to give tab here cc hyphen c for c programs 
and main.c no need to give header files here another dot o another dot c another dot h tab cc hyphen c and oth here another dot c now we have defined all the dependencies and we have also provided how to compile main.c and uh, another dot c also how to generate these main dot o and another dot o now if you wanted to clean all the files or build project we need to create another target which is clean this is not a target this is we called as a task here task doesn't need any dependencies we can directly write a recipe for any task task can be anything you can also give clean or you can also give clean all but with no space tab remove rm main dot o another dot o app here we are removing everything which we can we have created here when you say make this app will be generated by resolving these two dependencies using these two sub targets and this will not be called if you want to call this specific task you need to use make space clean now if you say make it will just compile the recipes which have provided if you see ls we can see new files are added into the current working directory before we have only another dot c another dot h and main dot c now we have another dot o main dot o and app to run this just provide app this is exactly what we have programmed and why we need to go for make file because make file will create a easy development environment for a developer to build a project within using a single command instead of providing all the flags and all the dependencies into the cc command there is another important thing why we need to use gnu make which is compilation time if you have a very big project and uh, you are updating some of the files with the uh, code or you can change you are changing the code then if you use a normal cc command it will compile everything from scratch this is very time consuming if you wanted to compile only the file which are modified then you have to use make file make file will only track the changed files which are uh, provided by you and uh, by comparing previous build it will uh, automatically finds which files are changed and compiles only the changed files so to conclude those things to explain you those things in a practical way i am going to insert one printf function in another dot c here i will insert one printf function with hello world now before we did a make it compiled main dot c and another dot c now we have only changed another dot c there is no need to compile main dot c so let's go ahead and do make now as we discussed main dot c is not compiled this time it will only compiled another dot c and created app finally so if you see app then it print hello world so this is very important in make files now if you see make file we have created one uh, task in the place of target called clean which doesn't take any pre request but it has a recipe so to do this before we will uh, see the what is the content inside our working directory to say ls we have another dot o main dot o and app and if you if you call this clean it will remove main dot o another dot o and app so after make clean we only have another dot c another dot h and main dot c make file just enter make clean now we are seeing one output on the screen which is the recipe which have entered in the clean task now we will see what is the content inside so it removed 
the object files and the final executable file which we have generated using make so thanks for watching in the next tutorial we will explore more features of make file